Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you all of the books that I plan to read in the month of July. Now July is the best month of the year. It is my favorite month of the year because it is summertime which is the best season that there ever was and if it was summertime all the time I would be okay with that. And my birthday is in 10 days. I am so excited and it's 4th of July today which I also love. I don't know where I'm going with any of this other than telling you how much I freaking love this month. Although there's been a slight issue with our weather here in Illinois. It sucked. The entire month of June was just rain. If it wasn't raining and it was actually sunny, it's been cold. Like in the 70s. I don't think we've hit 90 degrees yet once this year. And I'm so sad because I love hot weather. <clears throat> Say hi to all the people, Maze. Oh, you're purring. Oh, you're giving me kisses. Let's just get on into it and let me tell you what I want to read in July. So I've started two books in June that I hope to finish in July and the first one is Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. I'm about 100 pages into this book. This is the third book in the Vampire Academy series, I'm sure you know that, and I read the first two and I'm really enjoying the series. It has picked up for me a bit more, but I know there's a huge plot twist at the end of this book, which I'm really excited about because I'm very curious to see where this series is actually going in the long run. I'm excited to see what that big plot point is at the end of this book. I'm sure I will finish this book relatively soon. The first books I, I flew through and if this book is as good as everybody says it is, I'm probably going to fly through it as well. So the other book that I started in June that I hope to finish this month is Dorothy Must Die Stories by Danielle Page. Now I don't want to necessarily get to all of these because it is a bind up of the three novellas for this series. I just would like to get through at least one of them. The first novella is like 200 pages, which is the longest novella I think I've ever seen. That's just basically another book. So like I was saying, this is a bind up of the three novellas that I believe are prequels. They take place before Dorothy Must Die. I'm hoping to get some information from them because Dorothy Must Die doesn't give you much information. And I started it, I read a chapter. The first novella is told from Dorothy's point of view. So I'm already getting a little bit more insight than I got in the novel, which is promising because for the love of God I just want to know something more about this world than what I've been given because I wasn't given much. After I finished those two that I started last month I want to pick up A Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass because as I mentioned in my previous video I just read Throne of Glass and loved it. I wish I would have known about that series before because it's magically delicious. My goal is to read the entire series before Queen of Shadows comes out on September 1st, so I have two books and a very large bind up of novellas to get through still, but I think I can do it. I think I can get caught up before September 1st and I can fangirl and rave about Queen of Shadows with everybody else. That's the goal because that book is literally going to explode booktube when it is released. Everybody and their mother is obsessed with that series and I want to be part of the explosion. I want to help explode book two. I'm really excited about it. I can't tell you too much about it because it is a sequel. Sarah J Maas is a wonderful writer. If you haven't read her stories, they're beautiful and wonderful and addicting and I love them. So kind of give myself a break from all of the fantasy novels that I picked out this month. I did pick out a contemporary book because those are really what I'm drawn to the most during the summer months and I picked Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn. I did just recently haul this book. Katie Finn is the pen name for Morgan Matson. She wrote Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, which I really enjoyed. And she also wrote Since I've Been Gone, which I have been meaning to read and I hope to get to at some point during the summer. I'm not too sure what this book is about. I believe it's about a girl who during her childhood went to the Hamptons a lot in the summers. Hasn't been there in quite a few years and she goes back for whatever reason and some drama or something ensues after that. I'm not entirely sure. I have heard Jessica from Prices Wong mention this before and she seemed to really enjoy it from what I remember. So I would like to give it a try too. 
Plus, I saw it at Barnes & Noble and I saw this cover and I was like, meh, literally. You're coming home with me. And the last book that I want to read this month is actually going to be a new release. It comes out on July 7th, I believe. And that is The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second in the Remnant Chronicles. This follows The Kiss of Deception, which I read last fall and loved. I thoroughly enjoyed that book. It was so good. I've talked about it before on my channel. It's a story about a girl who has an arranged marriage to a prince and on the eve of her wedding or I believe it's actually on the day of her wedding she decides she doesn't want to marry this prince. She wants to be her own person and her and her best friend run away to go live the life as a commoner in a small neighboring village and they do. However, these two men show up in her life not too long after she arrives in this small town. And one of them is the prince who she's supposed to marry, and one of them is an assassin that was sent after her to kill her. And we don't know which one is which. It was great. I loved it. It was so good. So I'm definitely going to be getting my hands on this bad boy this month and reading it. So those are all the books I want to read for the month of July. I have four books and one novella picked out for the month. So I think that's achievable. I've been averaging kind of four books a month. I did hit my fifth book in June and it was so satisfying. So if I could read a little bit more that would be great but I'm not banking on it because of the month of July being busy. Tell me down below what you're most excited to be reading this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I would really like to know what you guys plan to read for the month of July in the comments down below and until next time I will talk to you very soon. Bye! because I lived in Minnesota, in Minnesota, in Minnesota. So I started, do you like my uh, bookmarker? This is a, oh, I lost my page. Well, it did have almonds in it. Um, I bought a pack of frozen green beans from the store and it was green beans and almonds and this is what the almonds came in. And I was like, perfect bookmark. Yeah, cause that's how that works. And it's a crossover from my June TBR, and that is bam, bam. It is magical, and the boys are delicious. It's magically delicious. Moving on. Moving on. Broken. I never remember the title of this book. This book is written by Morgan Matson, Katie Finn. I literally cannot get these words out of my mouth. Like I don't know what is going on right now, and I have cat fur all up in my nose. Lollipop, and it's gonna get you down. Looking at the high and the lollipop, and all the time that it is down. You're coming home with me. Thank you guys so much.